Gracious God, we have offered our time, our resources, our heart, and our prayers for the people that are in great need of these masks, and we pray for them, oh God, whether it's the people at care facilities, people at the firehouse, people who work for the county. Amen. And let us continue in our time of prayer. Gracious God, we continue to be grateful for the way you have called this congregation together, the way you call us to be strong in these difficult times. There is grief in our own hearts about people that we know who have passed, sometimes from COVID, sometimes from other, other reasons. And there's not only grief, God, there is impatience and frustration with wanting so badly to be together. So we lift this to you. And as we do so, we listen carefully, God. What is it that you would have us do in this strange liminal time, this in-between time? We pray for the LGBTQ community and allies, all of us, God, who care about your children. And as we do so, we give thanks for the surprising um, work of the Supreme Court did, did this past week, honoring this community as equal citizens in our country. We pray to God for those who are in fear of being deported, and in particular, those who were brought here as children. And again, we give thanks for the progress that's being made to protect these people. Hear this prayer on behalf of ourselves, God, and the world, this prayer by Rebecca Sutton. We pray for those who are hungry, and we pray harder for those who won't feed them. We pray for those in isolation, and we pray harder for those who won't comfort them. We pray for those who cry for freedom, and we pray harder for those who enslave them. We pray for those who are not heard, and we pray harder for those who won't listen to them. We pray for all who suffer in the world, and we pray harder for those who allow the suffering to occur. Amen. And friends, as we go to a prayer that is written by St. Francis or attributed to St. Francis, let us keep in mind all the, all the movement of God in our country right now for people of color and for people who are not of color, that we are waking up to truly be your instruments in this world. So let us pray together. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O oh, divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, and to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. <laughs> 